The American Foundation for the Blind, in association with NV Access, presents Learn NVDA, an introduction to using your computer and getting online. Hotkeys and Commands Part 2 Let's talk about a few of the key combinations that are specific to NVDA. One of the first things that many people ask about is how to change NVDA's voice settings. These settings can be changed in the Preferences menu, but there's also a hotkey combination to do it quickly. Pressing NVDA plus Control plus the left or right arrow will cycle through the different voice options. I'll demonstrate by pressing NVDA plus Control plus left several times. Inflection 75, pitch 40, rate 30. To actually change the value of each setting, press NVDA plus Control plus up or down arrow. Rate 35. Rate 40. Rate 45. Note that there's no need to release the control and NVDA keys between keystrokes. You can hold those two keys down and then just press the arrow keys until you're done tweaking the settings. To exit NVDA, press NVDA plus Q. A dialog box will pop up asking if you want to exit NVDA or restart it. Exit NVDA dialog, what would you like to do? Combo box exit collapse alt plus D. The NVDA plus B, as in Bravo, command will read the entire contents of the window that you're currently focused on from top to bottom. This is useful for quickly reading dialog boxes like this one. You can also tab around to the different interface elements. OK button. Cancel button. Escape will dismiss the dialog, and Enter will accept and close the dialog, which in this case will close NVDA. I'm going to press Escape because I don't want to close NVDA at this time. Desktop list NVDA 2 of 2. Now, let's tie together a few concepts and explore the NVDA menu. The command to open the NVDA menu is NVDA plus N. NVDA menu. Arrow down to move through this menu. If you hear Submenu, then you can use the right arrow key to move into a new submenu. This is one of the instances of needing to use the left and right arrows. We're looking for the Help submenu. Preferences submenu P. Tools submenu T. Help submenu H. Now I'll press right arrow to move into it. User Guide U. Commands Quick Reference Q. To open a menu item, press Enter. I'll open the command's quick reference. When I press enter, the default web browser is going to open and NVDA will begin speaking the entire document. I'm going to press control to stop the speech soon after it loads. Microsoft Edge window, Microsoft Edge window, new tab button, NVDA 2016.1 commands, quick reference, NVDA 2016.1 commands, quick reference document, heading level 1, NVDA 2016.1 commands, quick, NVDA 2. We will cover navigating web pages in a later tutorial, but remember that you can use the up and down arrows to navigate through a screen. Heading level 1 reference. Heading level 2 getting started with NVDA. The last hotkey we will cover in this tutorial will allow you to read the rest of the page from your current position. This is useful when you are reading a large amount of text, so you don't have to keep pressing the down arrow to read line by line. NVDA plus the down arrow will start reading continuously from your current position. I'll press NVDA plus down arrow now to demonstrate. Getting started with NVDA, NVDA touch gestures, touch modes to toggle touch modes, perform a three finger tap, basic NVDA commands, table level one, column one, name column two. The user guide and commands quick reference are extremely important and serve as a comprehensive guide to using NVDA. For more Learn NVDA tutorials, visit afb.org slash learn NVDA. This tutorial was presented with support from the Consumer Technology Association Foundation.